I'm driving across the country to go camping with my dog Juniper in Colorado for a month. However, on the way, my Jeep broke down and we are stranded in Topeka, Kansas over the weekend while we wait for parts. But we're making the most of it. We're pulling out of John Hoffer Jeep here in Topeka, Kansas in a vehicle that is finally fixed. I had a long conversation with the mechanic after it was done and my mind is at ease. The mechanic is confident that the Jeep is fixed finally and I feel pretty comfortable now. So I'm just excited to get out to Colorado. We're gonna go back to the campground and leave in the rain today, drive across Kansas. All right, adventure is on. Quick love stop to get an energy drink. Kansas is long, flat, kind of boring. No offense to any Kansas people, but on the good side, the Jeep is running well. We've already made it a bit further than we did between the last two dealerships the last time we broke down. So I think this problem is licked and quite pleased about that. What do you think, Juniper? Ready to stretch your legs? Okay.
stay at Bailey Ranch was our seventh night on the road. It should have only taken us two nights to get to where we are right now. After what seemed like an eternity, we have finally reached the front range of the Colorado Rockies. It's been a very relaxing first day in Colorado, and we are extremely grateful to finally be here. Just a short drive away from our campsite, we were treated to this amazing view of Pikes Peak. The following morning, Juniper found a great spot to sit and watch all the local wildlife doing their morning routine. Been a relaxing day two at camp here day two in the rocky mountains we arrived yesterday and uh, there's a view of our campsite only here for two nights um, yesterday I was very tired from all the driving and everything and it was just the most of the day was spent resting but then yesterday afternoon I did do a little bit of reconnaissance and checked out some of the jeep trails around here in the area and there's some really cool stuff we're going to try to get in a few miles before the rain comes they're forecasting thunderstorms and we already heard a couple of thunderclaps but i'm seeing some blue sky in the area um, okay so if we look under the jeep next to the front tire this what I'm pointing to is the end link for the sway bar, which is connected here. And it's actually an anti-sway bar for the highway because when you're traveling at highway speeds, you want stiffer suspension. And when you're off-road, you want more travel in the suspension. So by disconnecting this link, we will get more travel out of the suspension and that will result in better traction and it will keep all four wheels on the ground, hopefully. So we're just going to use an 18 millimeter socket and a box wrench to disconnect the end link. Okay. 
that's one side and then we can push this end link up out of the way we'll put a cable tie around that to hold it and we just have to do the same thing to the other side and right here we have the end link strapped to the uh, sway bar it's also a good idea to air down your tires when you're driving off-road today i'm airing down to 20 pounds but if you're on more extreme terrain you can air down to 15 or even 10 pounds Jeep's getting dirty. Well, it's been a really nice stay here at Southern Meadows. This is in the Pike National Forest and um, it's a cozy campground. Plenty of space between campsites and it's in a nice little pine forest. Uh, the vault toilets are clean. It's right outside of town. And if you're in the Pike Wilderness area, I highly recommend this camp um, and it's just minutes away from Pikes Peak and all those off-road trails we were on. So today we're going to head further west into the Collegiate Mountains uh, out near Buena Vista. There's some 14,000 foot peaks out there. We may do some hiking. I'm starting to feel a little more acclimated to the altitude. And my only concern is the weather. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain and that may affect my ability to gather power from solar, uh, from the solar panels. So anyway, we're gonna get this thing hitched up and hit the road. And with that, we're off to the next adventure with no plan and no agenda. As we approached the Collegiate Mountain Range, I turned on a random dirt road in search of a better view of the mountains in front of us. And by a stroke of dumb luck, I stumbled across this absolutely incredible campsite. So I grabbed it, and this is now our home for the next few days. Thank you for tagging along with us on our journey. If you enjoyed the video, please press the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We look forward to seeing you nowhere next week. Take care.